friends, leaders of the human spiritual world, leaders of the human religious world, we thank the organizers that such a wonderful occasion is here where we all can unite and serve the humanity. Religion is religion only when it unites. Religion is no more religion when it divides. Religion is not for dividing people, it is for uniting people. So much has been said about conversion, for conversion and against conversion. I am for, for conversion, I am not against conversion, but conversion not from one organized religion to another organized religion, no, conversion from misery to happiness. Conversion from bondage to liberation. Conversion from cruelty to compassion. That is the conversion needed today. And that is what this organization should make a point to implement our ancient country had not only given message of peace and harmony to the world, to the humanity, enlightened persons have given a method, a technique, how to have peace, how to have harmony, To me, to think of peace in the human society, we cannot ignore individuals. If there is no peace in the mind of the individual, I can't understand how can there be real peace in the human world. If I have an agitated mind, if I have a mind all the time full of anger, hatred, ill will, animosity, how can I give peace to the world? Because I have no peace myself. I am an agitated person. Therefore, the great enlightened persons have said, first, have peace within yourself. So one has to observe whether really there is peace in me or not. All the sages and saints and seers of the world have given this advice, know thyself, know thyself. Not merely at the intellectual level, not merely accepting at the emotional or devotional level, at the actual level. When you start experiencing the truth about yourself, within yourself, at the experiential level, many of the problems get solved. You start, you start understanding the universal law, universal law of the nature, or universal law of the God Almighty, universal law which is applicable to one and all, when I start observing within myself and I find that I am generating anger, hatred, ill will, animosity, I immediately realize that I am the first victim of my anger.
I am the first victim of the hatred, animosity that I am generating within myself. Then only I start harming others. This is law of nature. If I observe within myself, I find as soon as I generate any negativity in the mind, there is a lot of physical reactions. My body starts burning, heated up, palpitation, tension. I am a miserable person. And when I generate negativity in me and become miserable, I don't keep this misery limited to myself. I keep on throwing this misery on others. I make the entire atmosphere around me so tense that anybody who comes in contact with me becomes miserable. And I talk of peace. I talk of happiness. Keep on talking of happiness and peace. What is happening in me? is more important to me than anything else. Law of nature. And if I am free from these negativities, if my mind is free from negativities, mind is pure, again law of nature starts working. I observe within myself, at this moment, there is no negativity in the mind, and look, the nature, or the God Almighty, has started rewarding me. I feel so peaceful, so peaceful. As when I generate negativity, I observe, I become so miserable. So anyone belonging to this religion or that religion, this tradition or that tradition, this country or that country, when one breaks the law of the nature, one generates negativity in the mind, bound to suffer. The nature starts punishing this person. The hell fire within. One starts feeling the misery of hell fire within. This is the seed that I am sowing, the seed of hell fire within. After death, I will get nothing but hell fire. Law of nature is such. If I keep my mind pure, full of love, full of compassion, I enjoy the kingdom of heaven within myself. And this seed of kingdom of heaven will bring nothing but the fruit of the kingdom of heaven after death. Whether I call myself a Hindu or a Muslim or a Christian or a Jain, makes no difference. Makes no difference. Human being is human being. Human mind is human mind. Conversion should be from the impurity of the mind to purity of the mind. How people get changed. Such wonderful changes come. No magic, no miracle. It's a pure science of ob observing the interaction of mind and matter within ourselves. How mind keeps on influencing the matter, the body. How body keeps on influencing the mind. If you keep on observing, keep on observing, we understand the law of nature so clearly. That as and when I generate negativity, I start suffering. And as and when I am free from negativity, I start enjoying peace and harmony. That can be practiced by one and all. A wonderful tradition, a wonderful technique given by the enlightened one in our ancient country and spread in the world. Even today, people from different communities, different traditions, different religions, they come and learn this technique. They get the same benefit. They continue to remain Hindu as Hindu, Buddhist as Buddhist, Muslim as Muslim, Christian as Christian. Makes no difference. Human being is human being. What makes the difference? But a big difference comes. They become real spiritual people, full of love, full of compassion, good for themselves, good for others. When I generate peace in my mind, the entire atmosphere around me gets permeated with the vibration of peace. Anybody who comes in contact with me starts enjoying peace. This is the real conversion which is necessary, nothing else.
<laughs> Thank you. I have heard, I have heard the sound of the bell. But still, permit me to read out a message of my ancient country. A benevolent message from my ancient country, which is inscribed on the rocks from 2,300 years and gives a message to the entire human world. The message of the great emperor Ashoka, an ideal emperor, how an emperor rules. Now this message says, one should not honor only one's own religion and condemn other religions. Important message to the world of today. You keep on condemning others, keep on saying that mine is the best, mine is the best, you are creating difficulties for the human beings. Instead, one should honor other religions, for various religions, for various, various reasons. Every religion worth the name has got this core, the wholesome core of love, compassion, goodwill. Every religion give honor to the religion because of this core. The outer shell always differs. This rite, that ritual, this ceremony, that ceremony, this belief, that belief. Don't quarrel on those. But whatever is inner, inner essence, give importance to that and there will be no quarrel. By so doing, one helps one's own religion to grow and also renders service to the religions of others. In acting otherwise, one digs the grave of one's own religion, understand, big warning, and harms other religions as well. The message says, someone who honors his own religion and condemns other religions may do so out of devotion to his religion, thinking, I will glorify my religion, but his actions injure his own religion more gravely. Now a message. Let all listen. Let all listen. The message of Dharma, the message of the universal law, concord is good. It is only concord which helps us, not the quarrel. Let all be willing to listen to the doctrine professed by the others. Don't condemn anything, anything. Give importance to the essence of the teaching of every religion and there will be really peace, real harmony. Thank you very much.